Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 164. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Mitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which is the only state in India producing Muga silk? The correct answer is Assam. Muga silk is the product of the silk worm and Theria assamensis endemic to Assam. The silk produced is known for its glossy, fine texture and durability. Which among the lines is a boundary between France and Germany? The correct answer is the Siegfried line. This line, known in German as the West Wall, was a German defensive line built during the 1930s opposite the French Maginot line. Quashiocor disease is caused by the deficiency of which of the following? The correct answer is proteins. Quashiocor is a severe form of malnutrition caused by a deficiency in dietary protein. The extreme lack of protein causes an osmotic imbalance in the gastrointestinal system causing swelling of the gut diagnosed as an edema or retention of water. Which among the following virus is also called a hit and hide virus? The correct answer is RSV virus or respiratory syncytial virus. So, this is a common and very contagious virus that infects the respiratory tract of most children before their second birthday. For most babies and young children, the infection causes nothing more than a cold. There was a single supercontinent called Gondwana land in the Upper Paleozoic and Mesozoic era. India along with which of the following were included in this supercontinent. So if you look at the image, you can see what it used to be previously and what the present day continents are. The correct answer here is Africa, South America, Australia. So according to Alfred Wegener, the entire landmass of the globe was together about 280 million years ago. It was termed as Pangaea, a supercontinent. The huge water body surrounding Pangaea was known as Panthalassa. From 280 to 150 million years ago, Pangaea was broken latitudinally into northern and southern parts known as Laurasia or Angaraland and Gondwanaland respectively. Gondwana included Antarctica, South America, Africa, Madagascar, Australia, New Guinea and New Zealand as well as Arabia and the Indian subcontinent which have now moved entirely into the northern hemisphere. Which among the following plateaus in India lie between Aravalli and Vindhya range? The correct answer is Malwa plateau. Malwa is a historical region of west central India occupying a plateau of volcanic origin. Geologically, the Malwa plateau generally refers to the volcanic upland north of the Vindhya range. Kudremukh National Park is located in which of the following states? The correct answer is Karnataka. Kudremukh is a mountain range and the name of a peak located in Chikmaglu district in Karnataka, India. It is also the name of a small hill station come mining town situated near the mountain about 48 kilometers from Kakala around 20 kilometers from Kalasa. What can be the maximum strength of Lok Sabha in India? The correct answer is 552. The maximum strength of Lok Sabha is 552 members of which 530 are elected from states, 20 are elected from union territories and 2 are nominated by president from Anglo-Indian community if the president feels that the community is not adequately represented in the house. Which of the following brings out the citizen's guide to fight corruption? The correct answer is Central Vigilance Commission. Central Vigilance Commission is an apex Indian governmental body created in 1964 to address governmental corruption. In 2003, the parliament enacted a law conferring statutory status on the CVC. Which among the following is not included in Human Development Index? The correct answer is Social Inequality. The Human Development Index is a statistic composite index of life expectancy, education and per capita income indicators, which are used to rank countries into four tiers of human development. A country scores a higher HDI when the lifespan is higher, the education level is higher and the GNI per capita is higher. GNI is your gross national income. 
That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.